I'll start by removing the needles from previous year's growth. I had to break the container in which the, uh, the Scots pine was. And I would have expected it to have been completely rebound, bearing, bearing in mind the state of the container. But it's not. Perhaps that is the reason why the growth has been so poorly. As I work with the root, roots, I'm finding that the, there are hardly any roots, just very, very few, and the soil has become one solid piece. And even at the bottom, there's hardly anything there. I would have expected to find a lot more, just a few roots up here, and just a few more rather large ones at the bottom which are not much good to the plant as is the fine roots which are the feeder roots. The soil is very very solid. It's like loam or clay. The Scots pine has been confined to this little pot with solid clay for over five or six years. There's at least five years growth that I can count on the branches here, here, and the clay was so tightly packed that there was hardly any room for the roots to grow and there are very very few fine feeder roots. No wonder the tree has been suffering. I've had to cut this wire which was securing this Scots pine into the container. The fact that the tree trunk has grown round the securing wire is another indication of the number of years this poor little Scots pine has been stuck in the pot with solid clay. But for now, this will, this will do. This is the pot I've decided to use. It is slightly larger than the pot that the Scots pine came out of. All that now remains is for me to give it a good soak. I have added a little bit of moss to the pot and in time it will grow. It's all done and this is the full view of the tree and a 360 degree turn. It does look much better in this pot. It is slightly larger than the original pot that it, it was in. Uh, I've removed most of the clay-like soil that was in the pot and uh, embedded in the roots and there weren't much by way of roots to speak of. I do hope that it flourishes in this re repotting and uh, 
I will post updates of this Scots Pine. Thank you for watching.